The second of today's spectral sanctuary movies is an absolute classic. Robert Wise's The Haunting. Oh, uh, what's a, a, a poltergeist? A playful ghost, isn't that right, now? I wouldn't know. According to the records of the International Psychic Society, showers of stones fell on your house for three days when you were ten years old. That's ridiculous. It was witnessed by your family, the neighbors, sightseers, and the police. In fact, it's the only case ever officially recorded by the police. It never happened. A psychiatrist has invited a group of people to a supposed haunted house to perform an experiment to study any and all phenomenon and the reactions from his guests. Eleanor, her emotional state is already raw after the death of her mother, the terrible history of the place and his wicked former master, and now the doctor's experiment is threatening to send this woman into madness. In this new scary place, she feels like she's at home, like she's supposed to be there. Oh, just a minute, I'm coming! Robert Wise's experiences with working with Val Luton has served him well here. At this time in his career, he was a respected filmmaker who had made the Oscar-winning classic West Side Story and the original Day the Earth Stood Still. He would have Oscar-winning success again two years later with The Sound of Music. He shot this with a special 30mm lens that gave the movie a deep claustrophobic atmosphere. Horror fans will recognise Richard Johnson, the star of Lucio Fulci's Zombie Flesh Eaters, aka Zombie in the United States. Julie Harris, who plays Eleanor, was one of the finest stage actresses of her generation. Claire Bloom, one of the last surviving Hollywood legends, in a role as a bisexual woman could only be portrayed in nuanced expression. Of course, it was subject to another remake in the 90s from speed director Jan de Bont. It wasn't able to replicate the tension of the original, but it has become a cult classic. Stephen King and Steven Spielberg worked on another version called Rose Red, but it fell apart due to the two's difference of opinion on the tone. And we really missed out there. It seems that the 1999 version has more of an audience, which is a shame. Spielberg called it the scariest movie he'd ever seen. Martin Scorsese concurs with that.